What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another live day trading recap video. It's another video where we have a rough morning. I'm going to spend some time at the end of the video kind of looking at the statistics from the mornings because it's getting a little annoying to be read in the morning. I'm able to pull it back in the afternoon, but if I could just start stringing together strong opening hours, we would be much, much more profitable. So you're going to see the live trades from the first hour now, and we're going to talk a bit at the end. So make sure you stick around for that if you're interested in strategy and all that kind of stuff. Hit like if you enjoy the video, hit the red subscribe button if you're new, and let's get into the live day trades. Here we go, in five seconds. We are long here. Maybe a little unfortunately, it gave us a pretty big bottoming candle right before the close, but uh, that's fine. Still got in according to where the strategy did, and we're immediately getting dumped, cool. Yeah, it would have been it would have been nicer if it held down here for the last 10 seconds so we could have got in down here but it is what it is we're looking obviously above this green line to sell or this rsi to get below 40 to get stopped out this rsi is currently at 50. spy did gap up last night but immediately closed that gap see what it does now gap up but weak we're longing the dip in 100 shares at 416.42. And we're down 20 bucks right now. Not quite as volatile this morning, right? The last couple of days when we got in a trade, like it's been like, if a candle looked this big, it was like a 46, 40 to $50 move. Like <laughs> it's, not, it's not quite as crazy this morning. It seems to be a little bit more relaxed. It is a uh, Fed rate or Fed interest rate decision day. We are expecting a half base point raise at 2 p.m. Eastern this afternoon to take the interest rates to uh, a full base point. So we might expect to see a little bit of chop, you know, a little bit of indecision in the markets uh, going into uh, the interest rate decision this afternoon. People trying to position themselves before, before that happens, before that drops. Okay, there we go. We're now green, but we're not selling yet. It's not above the green line yet. Not above our sell condition. You guys focused up? Everybody focused up? Is that why we're going green? Oh, chat, don't lose your focus. Come on, spy. You wanted you wanted to get me green, didn't you? You wanted to for a second. You wanted to. Uh, this is close. Okay, this is now a sell candle. Wherever this candle closes, we are out. We're only 12 seconds into the candle, though, so a lot can still happen. Let's get a big old rip, shall we? Let's 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 exit at like 4175, shall we? That sounds fun, spy, doesn't it? 35 seconds. We're exiting wherever this candle closes, and we're up 26 bucks right now. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, a little bit a little bit less volatile this morning. Like, it's not not getting like the bang bang like 40 40 60 cent moves like in one candle like in half a tick like like we were the last two days which we'll see see if it's better or worse for the uh system 10 seconds we're out we're up 10 bucks right now it looks like it's going to be a bit of a nothing trade uh small push towards the end okay whatever i'll take i'll take my 14 bucks and move on whatever this almost, <laughs> this almost still broke the green line, but it did not. So we are long here. We are long at 416.86. Uh, Topping tail candle, maybe a little scary, but got long. Finally, again, taking another trade. It's been a while. Every time this stock's been breaking down the buy condition, it's also been breaking the sell condition. We finally got one that didn't, although it got very close. Now we are long. Sell condition is either the green line or if it wants to dump here, RSI under 40. We'll see. We're down $45 immediately. We have caught the biggest red candle of the day. Nice, of course. <laughs> biggest candle of the day goes against us. Nice. But we don't panic sell. <laughs> the one candle you get in on? Yeah, I mean, it happens. No, no, no need to be, no need to worry about it. Be emotional about it. Got in where I was supposed to get in. I'll get out where I'm supposed to get out. If it wants to keep breaking down, that'll be a stop loss when the RSI gets below 50. 
Or maybe it wants to recover because, once again, this is a very, very, very choppy morning. We got Biden speaking in an hour and five minutes, and then we've got a uh, Fed interest rate decision this afternoon. I imagine a lot of weird chop indecision in the markets this morning. That's what I imagine. Do you know the swing trader Qual Maggie? I've been seeing you ask that question. Um, yeah, I know who he is. I don't really know much about him. I've never really watched his contents, but I do know who he is, yeah. Isn't he the guy that people say he just like throws around millions of dollars? Like he just like gambles like with like millions of dollars. He'll like lose a million and make a couple million. That's the thing. We talked about this yesterday. I mean, people people like want to make a lot of money, right? You know, if you, if you want to make a lot of money, you've got to be willing to lose a lot of money too. Can you handle that drawdown? Like, did your algo get a better fill? Uh, it got in at 416.89. So no, I got a slightly better fill. I got a slightly better fill than the algo did. That's what I say too. There, Because there is, right? There is a little bit of mistimings because I have to take it with, you know, it takes it immediately. I've got the human interaction, not to mention the how long does TOS take to process the order, all that stuff. But, you know, it's random, right? It's random. Stock, stock market moves over a two second span or random so sometimes i get a better entrance sometimes i get a slightly worse en entrance but it, it i think it all evens out over time somebody is definitely watching you and clicking the big red button once you get in <laughs> i doubt it i doubt it guys look there's this there's this streamer that's risking uh he's risking like 75 dollars in this trade you guys, you guys want to move the entire SMP to take his 75 bucks? Yeah, yeah, we got him, bro. We got him. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> A market maker just moved the entire stock market to take my money. Yeah. <laughs> another, another beauty of trading SPY is you never really have to worry about that, right? Market makers aren't watching my stream and screwing with me to get my shares. They can't, right? They can't move the entire markets. Okay, tinfoil hat, maybe they can, but they're not going to for 100 shares, right? <laughs> if I was trading, you know, maybe maybe if I was trading RVSN with a couple thousand shares, maybe some market makers might, uh, their ears might perk up a little bit more, but. <clears throat> okay, we are at low of day and we are close to getting stopped out. Cool, cool, cool. Picked up some Uber for around 27 for longer term. Good luck. They dropped today because of Lyft earnings. Lyft had terrible earnings, so Uber dropped in sympathy. So maybe not a bad chance if you like Uber. I mean, I would have to go look at their valuation and stuff. I don't know much about Uber's uh, stock, but if you like them, buying them in sympathy to another stock reporting bad earnings, probably not the worst time to be buying them. This is close. It's going to be close to a stop loss candle. There's four seconds left and we're right at 40. Okay. Not stopped out yet. RVSN, yep, RVSN is pushing. We just showed that. RVSN is pushing up here to 255. Good luck, individual stock traders. Low float traders, good luck. Have fun with RVSN. It's a nice push. We've been talking about it all day. That's the one I that's the one I said to watch out of open. All right, 35 seconds left in this candle. We're trading at RSI 41. We're very close to getting stopped out here. We will see what happens. We are down $77 in this trade. RSI at 40.9, 13 seconds left. Sorry, I just gotta focus on this because it's gonna close right around the 40 RSI. Five seconds, RSI at 40.3, 40.4, 40.2, did not quite close below. Up, and now it's going to break down to new low a day. Okay. 
<laughs> Did not get stopped out quite there, though. Not quite. Are you trading through the FOMC announcement? No, I'll stop. I'll stop before the FOMC announcement. I don't want to be in a position during that. Although, I mean, maybe I shouldn't say that because obviously the system won't care. That's not coded into the system. It trades major news events and obviously it's profitable over time. So you know, maybe I should, but for my own mental well-being and own risk tolerance, I probably will stop trading before FOMC. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, nice dump. We've lost 120 bucks in this trade and we are about to get stopped out in 10 seconds. In where you're supposed to get in, out where you're supposed to get out. No big deal. Stick to your plan, trade your plan, prove a plan, and trade it. That one, that trade didn't work, but don't mind. Continue buying dips. We're down 111 bucks on the day. Another great morning. Who said? Who said I was uh, green this morning? Who said I was green before 10 a.m.? You jinxed me. I blame you. It's your fault. Small bounce back up. Okay, thank you. Small bounce back up before we short. Not bad. We are short of 415.26. The cover is the red line. It's usually the blue line, but for this strategy, the uh, the red line and the blue line are the same exact. Okay, this is a cover candle. Wherever this candle closes, we're out of this trade. Unfortunately, it just dipped below it, and now we're red in the trade. But still 40 seconds left. Let's see if it can break down for us. Nope, it's going to break up. Good, good, good. Another morning where nothing works. <laughs> I have to recover it all in the afternoon again, just like every other day this in the past couple of months. If I just didn't trade the mornings, I would be super profitable. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Savani. I knew I was waiting for somebody to do it. I, the, as soon as I entered that trade, I was waiting for somebody to say that. <laughs> oh, you're going short here? Good luck. <laughs> The en <laughs> that entire trade, I was waiting for somebody to say that. Uh, we did lose money there. We're down 162 bucks in the morning. Now, I was not paying attention. This is a short candle. We are short here at 4.15.52. I was reading chat. I wasn't paying attention. This is another short candle because we are obviously breaking up levels again below the SMA line. So I'm right back in short. Cover condition is now way down here. I say way down here. It's That's 4.15.10. That would be about a $40 win. <laughs> oh, you're unbanning him here? <laughs> Dude, the inside jokes have been flying lately on the uh, on the streams. We've gotten Epitome, we've gotten Focus. Now we've got, oh, you're taking that trade here. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. Starting to get a move in our direction. We're up 18 bucks, but we're nowhere near covering yet. So don't celebrate the unrealized gains, right? Cover condition is still going to be down here on the next candle, and the candle after that, it comes all the way up here. <laughs> nah, some some jokes some jokes live out their cycle of life, Andy. <laughs> that one that one had its that one had its time in the sun. Okay, nice. Yep, yeah. just an immediate big green candle after the big red candle. Why not? Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, why not? Yeah. Just why not just go right back up? Sure. Oh, you're you're super super weak and trade short at a bounce. Yeah, let's let's just rip. Come on. No 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 no. Don't go down. Let's rip. Come on. Let's let's go to four sixteen spy. Let's just let's just have a rip here, shall we? Let's lose another fifty sixty bucks, shall we, chat? See see I think I can control them. I we learned yesterday I can control the markets with my voice. So I'm saying the opposite of what I want it to do because I know I know it goes the opposite of the direction I want. Reverse reverse psychologizing the markets. <laughs> this is a cover candle. This is our cover candle. Can we get a breakdown for 50 seconds here? Reverse focus. Come on down, Spy. Come on down. Let's cover a 4.14.80, shall we? Oh, wait. I forgot. Reverse. Yeah. Go to 4.15.8. Yeah. Yeah. Go to 4.15.8, Spy. Yeah. That's what you want to do. It worked.
marks? <laughs> You're shitting me. You are shitting me that that just... <laughs> I'm just covering you. <laughs> Bro, this morning is killing me. What is happening? <laughs> I'm, down, I'm down 100 bucks and having the time of my life. Yep, we are short here at 414.99. <clears throat> Sometimes having a double stream day makes a mess. Why? Why is that? I do, I do think I'm going back live before uh, before FOMC. All right, cover condition on this is below the red line, or if it wants to rip our faces off, we got to wait till this RSI gets above sixty, which would not be fun because this RSI is currently a forty-three. <laughs> wow. Okay, market volatility coming in a little. That was a that was a fun little push to four fifteen twenty and immediately roll back over to four fourteen nine. Hello, good morning. Oh, you were talking about peeing. Ah, I get it now. I get the joke. <laughs> Sorry, I missed. I missed the joke. Sorry. <laughs> Wow, what is Spy doing right here? Hey Trey, you wanna cover? Your cover condition's right here. <laughs> Psych. Psych bitch. See ya. Okay, I'm focused. I'm focused. <sighs> not fo I'm not focused the right way, that's why the spy went up. Supposed to tell it to go higher. Okay, let's go to 416, Spy. Let's go up. Oh, shit. It's listening to me this time. <laughs> sure. BS Curon, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you, my friend. We're down 64 bucks in this trade. All right. Very cool. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on, spy! Bounce, bounce, and go to four sixteen, spy. Where? 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 Reverse that reverse psychology thing again. Yeah, four four sixteen, spy. Woo! Come on, go up. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Cover conditions below the red line, which is all the way down here at four fourteen nine right now. Oh. You want to know why that just covered? This algo is only running till 1030. I forgot about that. We just covered there because this algo, uh, the algo that I used for the first hour stops running at 1030. It's 1029. The algo covers. So it doesn't hold into 1030. All right. Now we switch to our afternoon algorithm. <clears throat> hey, look, the afternoon is down the exact same that the morning is down. All right, so that wraps up the first hour of the day. That wraps up the live recorded trades. We ended that session down a little over $150. As you can see where we sit now, we're down a little over $170. So we just dropped a little bit since the first hour. Um, it is only 1230 now that I'm making this video. I'm making it a little early today because I am about to go back live here on Twitch for the FOMC. I think it'll be fun to watch live with my audience over there on Twitch. Come join us if you haven't already. Um, but what I want to talk about a little bit during this outro here is the max drawdown. We are now in our new current uh, max largest drawdown. We were up 1551. We are now only up, only up 1124 since we started trading this strategy. So we have dropped roughly $430 from highs. That's our new max drawdown. But guess what? This is one of the important, one of the most important steps of backtesting, right? When you run your full backtest of all the trades, you can see the max calculated drawdown, the maximum drawdown during this backtest was $1,000, slightly over $1,000. So we know that, we expected that, 
only being down 430 right now or being down 430 right now is not that bad. We're still in a comfortable range of being down. So there's no reason to start panicking yet. Just something I wanted to talk about there. Um, I also wanted to bring up that we are using a new system during the first hour. If we look up Algo first hour, we have created a new system. If we look at the last 30 days of this, obviously it didn't work very well this morning. Um, I do want to look into that not letting it end trades at 10.30 because the way it ended this short here, where's 10.30 today? The way it ended this short here kind of sucked. Uh, we did end this short while in a loss and then it ended up pulling back pretty nicely. Uh, that kind of sucked. So I do want to look into that in the code just as a little aside for the future. But let's go ahead and make this over the last 30 days so we can look at the longest kind of elongated period we can. And this strategy that we use for the first hour is actually up $1,400 over the last 30 days. Whereas, you know, the strategy we've been using uh, over more than 30, but has not been performing very well. So we do have a little bit of a new weapon that we are using in the first hour now. So hopefully we can start to turn this first hour profitable. And then obviously the rest of the days have been really strong already, uh, obviously still creating this profitable strategy over time. Uh, but if we can start to really garner a strong first hour too, and then keep the strong afternoons, we should see things start flying. So hopefully you're all excited for that. Just wanted to speak to that maximum drawdown and kind of some of the pains we've been having in the first hour lately. Obviously, things are still looking fine. Once again, we're still well within that max drawdown that we're comfortable with losing that we know at some point we're going to lose. You know, it's just how systems work. There's no amazing profitable straight up system, right? So we're still very comfortable with that as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this little conversation around the importance of back testing and understanding your max drawdown and bankroll management and all this stuff here at the end of the video as well. If you did, if you made it this far, you must have liked it a little. Please take the half second, scroll down, hit the like button. Really, really does help if you're new around here. Why don't you hit the red subscribe button while you're down there? I post these videos for free every single day. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of today's video. I will catch you all in the next one.